Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to start adding some other accoutrement here. And one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to add the armored sleeves. And those are called cote. So these sleeves are all uh, heavy iron plates connected by a Japanese style chain mail sewn onto a silk fabric. And we turn the sleeve over. It's stitched up the middle and you just simply slip your arm into it when you put it on. So we've attached the sleeves and the next piece of armor we're going to put on is called the hydate, which is like the upper thigh armor. And by the way, we're not putting these on according to the way that it would have been worn on a person. Uh, we're putting them on uh, for the uh, video itself. So if you were a samurai getting dressed, you would actually dress yourself kind of from the shins and on upward and the, the helmet would be the last thing you would attach. So, but here we're doing it a little different so you can see the thing coming together. So here we put on the upper leg armor, which is called Hydate. And it's basically like a little apron that you would wear. Uh, sometimes it would go around and attach the, around the back with a little toggle. And this is too, is it's um, heavy iron plates. This is pretty heavy iron armor, uh, connected by chain mail, and then stitched onto a fabric backing. And if you notice that the fabric on here and on here matches. So now we put the suniate on, and suniate are lower leg protection. And it's interesting, these three pieces here are sometimes referred to as sangu, which means the three equipment. And we're going to throw the kanji up there. I actually was able to find those. So the number uh, three and then gu means equipment. And these are extremely heavy iron plate. Um, they're hinged on the inside here to allow you to get in and out of them. And you notice how tiny they are. This is not a very big person who wore this. Pretty small little guy. However, you still wouldn't want to fight him. <laughs> so these pieces of armor here are called sode. Right? They're kind of sleeves, armored. Uh, we call them pauldrons in, um, in today in the West. And on the inside, they're covered with a fabric. And if you notice, the fabric, again, matches everything. This is a matched set. And these two are made out of iron and laced together with a dark blue silk cord. And again, that style is called Sugaki Odoshi, the sparsed lacing. The sode are now attached and this is a complete suit of armor. But this suit of armor is a little different. We got one more piece to add. Something really fun and something you don't find on most armors. So grab the feet. <laughs> so we have something really cool on this suit of armor. We have armored feet, which you don't find very often on Japanese armor. These are called kogake. And what you do is you, um, you put them on your sock foot and then you tie them behind your ankle here. It has some little chain mail. It's flexible. Again, it has matching, matching um, fabric. And then when you put your sandal on, your sandal goes over the top. So it keeps it secure to your foot. And again, very flexible. You can move around. You can walk in them very easily. And they protect quite a bit. Nice heavy iron plates. And that gives you our Japanese armor. We hope you guys had a good time because Ben and I sure had a blast filming this thing. So, and we're going to do more of this stuff. So keep tuned and we're going to see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>